Universal Audio makes some fantastic hardware and software. I love my Apollo, and I use their plugins all the time. The plugins can be pricey, but they also seem to be better than a lot of the competition. Once you start using their plugins, however, you immediately notice a problem, and it's more than likely by design. With most plugins, you download the ones you purchase, and that's all there is to it. When I purchased my Apollo, it came with a package of plugins as a bonus. But here's the deal. All the other plugins they make also came along for the ride. It's a lot of plugins. This probably helps some sell plugins as you can do a free trial with each one, kind of like suggestive selling. So therein lies the issue. How do you remember what plugins you own in this huge number of plugins? Many of them have very similar names. It might be the current or standard version, or it might be the legacy, or the pro legacy. It might be the 550 or 560, or it might be the SVTR, or the SVTR Pro, or the SVTR Classic. Once you own a few, it becomes impossible to remember which is the right one, and it can drive you mad. One way to know which plugins you own is to open the UAD meter and control panel and sift through the ones you own or are authorized for. This is what I used to do on a fairly regular basis, but it ain't fun and it's definitely not efficient. So here's how I decided to deal with this situation. In Logic's Plugin Manager, you can create folders. I created one called Universal Audio. Every time I purchase a new plugin from Universal Audio, I drag it into this folder. This way I have an ongoing current folder showing me which ones I own and can use. Now I also try to remember to put them in other folders I've created like Dynamics or EQ or Channel Strips. But sometimes I just want to quickly check what choices I have in my Universal Audio folder. This little folder has been extremely helpful for me. And by the way, if you got a bundle of plugins with a Universal Audio hardware purchase, you may need to use the meter and control panel I mentioned earlier to figure out which plugins to add to your folder in the plugin manager, at least for the first time you're creating and using this folder. With the new ways of owning Universal Audio plugins, this dynamic may change, but for the time being, it seems like a pretty good solution. It's really quick to add a new plugin to the folder. and I don't have to wonder about which versions I own or have to sift through the many titles. Hopefully this works for you too. Try it out and let me know what you think.